Father Jim, let's get right to the topic of today. How is Pope Francis changing the church? Um, you spoke a little about it in your opening remarks, but what would you point to as some of the most important things that are happening? Well, I think both as uh, Andrew and Natalia said uh, uh, beautifully, uh, he's changing the way people think about Christianity uh, and the papacy together. Um, I would like to add, I, uh, I think that he's also very natural in those gestures. Um, the time that he embraced the man with the uh, severe uh, skin condition, uh, I remember thinking, if someone said that to me, you know, you, you should, here's this man, I would have to kind of build up to it. He does it like that. It's just very natural. Uh, and, and this is what Christ does. A lot of it's about touch for me, too. He touches people. He said at one point, you know, we can't just help the poor, we have to touch them. And he meant that physically, you know, going out and touching them. And, and those gestures, you know, the, 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 the deeds and the words go together, as they did with Jesus. So he's, he's showing us Christ uh, in a very powerful way. Um, my favorite expression, actually, uh, I got here on this stage. Uh, Father Devron will be happy to hear this. Um, our superior general, uh, Adolfo Nicolas, came to New York uh, recently, and he uh, met with all the New York Jesuits uh, here in, at Fordham Prep. And uh, he called it, which I thought was so beautiful, a revolution of normalcy. Uh, he's, he feels more like a normal guy. Um, I respected John Paul and Benedict, uh, this guy I love. And I would be very respectful to John Paul and Benedict, I'd want to hug this guy. Uh, and so... I want to be hugged by him. 